The blunt truth is that we need fossil fuels, coal, coal, oil, and gasoline. And despite their obvious downsides, some of the smartest people on Earth have been trying to find a clean fuel replacement, focusing on wind and solar power. But a college student in Maine may have accidentally stumbled onto a clean fuel game changer. News editor Clay Gordon shows us how you Maine is fueling our future and potentially changing Maine's economy. You guys literally struck black gold in the laboratory. Exactly. When we were not expecting it. Do you think this could revolutionize the mill industry here in Maine? I think it would give new life. New life after a discovery from a student. We just found out a little bit by chance that one particular kind of mixed salt actually makes things that are like crude oil vapor. Humane Forest Bioproducts Research Institute now pumping out sulfur-free clean crude oil from an almost unconceivable source. We take sawdust, we take old cardboard boxes, or we take logging residue, basically woody biomass. With high heat and pressure, a 20-minute process turns pulp into acid, then salt and crude oil. Then it's like any other oil refinery. We can break it into gasoline, diesel, kerosene. We can take the kerosene part and make it into jet fuel. And that's where they collect good engineering data. Engineering data collected. So I would analyze the composition of both of them to see how we could better improve and optimize the process. By Curtis Kwong, a recent graduate at UMaine. A lot of the pulp and paper plants, they have a lot of like waste. What this process can do, we can convert that waste into just profits. It's crazy how we haven't discovered this before. It's really about diversification of some of our heritage industries. If you make wood-based a biofuel, it's about 60% lower in greenhouse gas emissions. Small scale science. Are we talking like enough to fill up a, a gas tank or are we talking enough to fill up a tanker truck? Uh, in between. We've probably made several barrels of crude oil. Perhaps leading to an oil boom in Maine. Maine has a lot of this infrastructure already in yeah. place. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, many people know there are pul not quite a few pulp mills closed using operating wood yard, using operating on-site power generation. Can we add this extra revenue generating stream? Then I think a lot of new doors will open. It will help support and strengthen the other uses for wood products in the state for our natural resources, value added jobs, as well as positive impact on the climate change. The U.S. Air Force Research Lab is currently testing the samples to see if the product can meet the aviation industry standards, potentially propelling Maine's economy to new heights. In Old Town, Clay Gordon, New Center, Maine.